the things I was putting in my body, you know, it just, they, my tolerance got so high and I, 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 it got to the point where I couldn't even count how many pills or anything I was taking. I had overdosed in 2007, pretty much almost died. I pulled through and re went home and relapsed again like less than a month later. I scared myself and just was like, yo, I need help. It was my fault. The rapper's friend Elton John was one of the first people he called for help. Elton himself just celebrated 29 years of sobriety in July. There were long periods of my career between the 80s and the 90s when the drug use was really bad. Um, and periods when it wasn't, but the, every time you went back, it got worse. It wasn't until Elton befriended the young AIDS patient, Ryan White, that he turned his life around. He said he realized how out of focus his life was. If it wasn't for Ryan, I wouldn't be here. Recently, Jamie Lee Curtis revealed she's celebrating 20 years of sobriety. Her Vicodin addiction began after routine plastic surgery she got because a cameraman said her eyes looked puffy. Jamie struggled so badly, she was stealing pills from her sister. I got sober specifically brought it to the public not because i wanted to talk about uh, by the way an opiate addiction that i had for 10 years but i wanted people to be able to relate so that they didn't feel afraid i stopped drinking when i was 22 i'm yeah. sober so uh -huh. you know i do not drink i'm very lucky that i that i had to deal with it at the age that I had to deal with it. Kristen Davis doesn't think she would be alive due to her alcoholism if it wasn't for her love of acting, which she opened up about on James Andrew Miller's Origins podcast. Acting is the only thing that made me want to ever get sober. I didn't have anything that was that important to me other than trying to dull my senses or whatever. So, you know, I don't, I, I didn't think I would live to be 30. Daniel Radcliffe has admitted he relied on alcohol during the height of his Harry Potter fame. He quit when he was 21 with the help of friends and family. The sort of tweetable version of, of the few years that it was, was I drank, my drinking led me to become unhappy, and now I've stopped and I'm much happier. Tim McGraw has confessed, I partied too much and did other things too much chemically. He got clean in 2008 after his wife, Faith Hill, gave him a wake-up call saying, partying or family, take your pick. Ultimately, you have to decide that if it's affecting your life in a negative way or you're not being able to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish and you're not setting the examples that you want to set. And, and that's where I got